going on guys, Shane here and welcome back to another video. Today, after a long break of silence from recording and uploading videos, I'm going to be reacting to Life of Luxury, as you guys can see I've watched quite a few of their videos. But for some reason it says I haven't watched, but like I've literally seen every single one of their videos. Um, they're very interesting, they're obviously fake. You can even, you can tell it just by looking at the thumbnails, but they're pretty interesting. I used to watch them when I was a lot younger. Like, on their old Predator videos and stuff. But, let's get into it, I guess. How do you feel safe going here if this guy's own daughter is afraid of him? He sounded really mad, and then he just stared at me, drooling. Alright, so already right off the bat, we're, we're being thrown into this amazing content right off the bat. Mr. Skinny arms, just like me. Looks like a freaking breadstick. Actually pretty hot, not gonna lie. If I do say so myself. Now, I don't understand how this video got 12 million views, as well as every other video they make getting 12 million views. This is clearly a fake, and they're able to attract all these four-year-olds. I don't get it. But, yeah, um, this girl looks like she's seen a ghost. So let's see what ghost she saw, other than the freaking saran wrap on everything in her house. <laughs> I've never really seen this video, which I'm not surprised about. <laughs> Come here. Bailey, is that you? Come here. Bailey? <laughs> Hi, I'm Parker, and this is my friend Chester, and welcome back to Life of Luxury. Let's hit 100,000 likes for more no. new episodes. So for this episode, we received an email from an 18-year-old girl named Bailey, who recently returned home from college to discover her whole family gone, except for her dad, Stanley. Bailey says that there's something different with her dad. He appears to have been in some sort of accident, and he's too confused to explain where her mom and her little sister went. He's also been trying to get into her room at night, so she's been keeping her door locked. Bailey says that she loves her dad, but now he's so different that she's too afraid to spend another night with him alone. She sent us this video for proof. What are you doing? Those are long skinny legs, jeez. <laughs> so tonight we've decided to go to Bailey's house and see what's happening with her dad when she's not watching him. But first, so a quick she word sees, from our sponsor. So she sees this dude, and she immediately sees him and thinks, oh, that's my dad? Instead of jumping to the conclusion very quickly that that is definitely not her dad. There's no way in hell she believes that's her dad. That thing is eight foot nine, weighs four pounds, and looks like he eats Cheez Its off of the subway station's grounds. So, um, I'm a little bit confused, but I'm gonna continue. Come on. So, we're gonna pause right now again. Sorry for all the pauses, but already, we're already, what, we're not even two minutes into the video, and Chester's already sweating because he's playing a game of freaking Pong. He's not even playing it, literally slapped onto a, an old CRT display for Windows 95. I'm a little bit confused as to how he's, he's, um, pouring water on himself to look like he's sweating. And looking pretty sweaty. I don't know, this dude's a little bit crazy. I played some competitive matches of Pong in my day. But never this bad. Rosa. Then go buy to buy a five dollar game at GameStop. 
Huh? You can. You, you should do that. And tell me why. Just so they can promote this ad, they threw a freaking display out the window and then broke the damn door down. Why is this necessary just for an ad sponsorship? Sponsorship. I don't get it. Dude, if you need a new game to play, just download Raid Shadow Legends. Oh God. Raid Pardon, sorry about that. Bro, how do you feel safe going here if this guy's own daughter is afraid of him? Oh uh, yeah, dude. I never said I felt safe. All this we know is that her dad so was great. in an accident. Well, her dad's accident's none of our business. We're not doctors. Dude, just try to have some empathy. For all we know, this guy could, like, be in a lot of pain. Well, let's just keep driving so we can talk to Bailey, okay? You gotta relax. <sighs> okay. Chester's over here looking like he's pissing himself right now. I don't get it. They ain't even anywhere near there yet. And he's already literally yearning in his pants in fear of what her dad, her dad, air quotes, is doing. Your destination Wait, it's right here, dude. We gotta pull over. Okay. Bro, this house looks totally empty. Are you sure you actually want to go in there? I'm sure. Keep in mind, it is 10.57 p.m. when they pull up at night. Meaning, most people in the house are probably getting ready for bed. So obviously it's going to be completely dark. Yeah, uh, let's just go in. Very fine. Alright, yo, let's go on, knock on Bailey's door, okay? Alright. Hi, are you Bailey? Yeah. Uh, you emailed us about your dad? Is it cool if we come in and talk? Yeah. Okay. You, you have to be quiet. My dad's sleeping. Okay. Come on. Let's go inside. Thanks. So, Bailey, okay. thank you for letting us sit down with you. Uh, so can you tell us about everything that's been going on? Yeah, so a little over a week ago I came home from college and I was expecting to see my whole family, you know, my, my mom and my little sister and my dad. When I came home, I realized my mom and sister were gone. So your dad was the only one from your family here? Yeah, and when I first got home, I walked in and there was this weird note on the counter. I guess it was supposed to be from my mom. Uh, can we see the note? What did it say? Yeah, I actually kept it. Give me a sec. Okay. This acting is so great. Me and sister go to eat from ma? Bro, what? Okay, thanks. Here you go, can you sit down? I'm not gonna lie, look, they wrote that five and a half minutes ago. So you haven't heard from your mom or sister at all? No, at first I tried asking my dad what happened, but I think he's been in some kind of accident. Yeah, definitely not. What do you mean by that? I started locking my door at night because he's been trying to open it every night since I got back. But last night was different. He sounded really mad and broke the lock open. And then he just stared at me in my doorway, drooling. What? I thought he was staring at you in his toilet, to... drooling. Never mind. Oh, okay. So what have you noticed that's different about his behavior and his personality? Me and my dad used to be really close. Like, we were best friends, but he doesn't talk to me anymore. I think the only th thing he said to me since I got home was asking if he can meet my friends. I think he wants to meet my new friends I made in college. 
He also seems really confused. I tried to care for him, but he just locks himself in his room all day. What's he doing in there? I don't know. Every night I can hear him groaning. I'm not sure. I know what that means. I also hear this really weird old music coming from his room at night. I think he's watching something. Okay, so Chester and I kind of want to go talk to your dad now. Why don't you just head to your room now and get ready for bed? And we'll stop by later to set up a camera. Yeah, that, that's fine. Okay, come on. You know, I, I think I know what's going on here. They set up, they make these videos so they can put the camera in the victim's room, which is literally every time a girl, so that they can watch her sleep. I know exactly that's what's going on here. Dude, wait. I don't think we should talk to this guy. Why? He could be like mentally unstable. Dude, we're just talking. It's not a big deal. Come on, what's going on? Alright, fine. See okay, dude. I'm not gonna start. Stanley? Dude, he's not saying anything. Dude, I'm, I'm just gonna open it. No, don't. Wait, wait, wait. Dude, he's not in there. Where is he? I don't know, dude. Let me just go hide that camera in this room. Come on. He's probably okay. under the bed or something. I'm a little bit scared of what the heck all he just did to that doll. Geez, really invading his privacy and everything. What's this? Dude, I think he was eating in here. If he's not gonna leave his room, obviously he's gonna eat in there. Dude, he's got a TV under here. So what? Where else would you put a TV? And he's got a tape here too. What? Bro, we're Where supposed else to be hiding a camera. Tape? You have to have some sort of entertainment. How to start a girl at 3 a.m. Bro, why would you put that in there? Wait, let me watch. <laughs> oh boy, he disappeared. Bro, why are you touching his things? Hold on. What is that? What am I watching? This is doing the PP dance. <laughs> Chester's already across the point where he's literally still in the entire bed. Okay. And what the bed? Okay, are you filming me? Yeah, dude, but where do you think your dad went? I don't know. Okay, guys, so uh, we're just gonna put a couple more cameras down in this house. Let's go put a camera on Bailey's room. Alright. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's knock. Bailey? Dude, what's that noise in there? I I, I don't know. Is something wrong? Let's 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> like doing something. Like, Sir, uh, what is he holding? Are you feeling okay? Uh, what are you doing in your daughter's room? I just wanted to say, Daddy, how's you? Sir, it's getting late. Maybe you should go to bed? I think it's the thickest one I've ever seen. Good. Dude, did you see that guy? What the hell's wrong with him? Yeah, I know. That poor that guy. That is so rude. What? There's something wrong with his body. Dude, stop. This dude's already criticizing the scene, the dude. He has done nothing wrong besides say, Daddy loves you. And he's already criticizing him. Oh, he's deformed. He looks so off. What if he has a mental disability? Mental di and he's crippled. That's not something to make fun of him for. That's extremely rude. Just calm down, bro. Let's just go talk to her. Okay. Dude, let me set up this camera. Bailey, is that you with your family? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, Bailey, we set up cameras all over your house and we, uh, hit one in your dad's room. Do you think he's gonna try and come in my room tonight? Um, I'm not really sure. I hope not. We don't really know what happened to this guy. He might be dealing with a lot of trauma mentally. He might not even be thinking about you at all. I just really miss my family, and I'm feeling really lonely right now. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry you feel that way. Um, why don't you just try to get some sleep now, and then we can watch the footage from the cameras in the morning. Okay. Okay. Good night. Bro, how the hell are you going to sleep in this house after seeing that guy's face? Why are you being like this? What are you talking about? There's clearly something wrong with him. Okay, well, whatever type of accident this guy was in clearly messed him up. But why are you making fun of his face? It, it sounds like there's something wrong with you. Exactly. There's no way I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. Well, you're going to have to try. Let's just, just go to sleep, dude. Okay, we can like, talk about this in the morning. <laughs> whatever, dude. Okay, let's go to sleep. You got cheese that I can eat? Alright, let's gonna go watch some television. Alright, that's cool. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did she just stick both feet out of the blanket? Anybody who sticks more than one foot out of the blanket is psychotic off rip. It's supposed to be one leg or no leg. You actual, actual psycho. What the hell am I watching? Dude should become a boxer.
His arms are shorter. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right, I remember this part. He knocked over the lamp. Jeez, who's blowing up his phone? Put it on mute. Yo, dude, wake up. Billy's been texting me. I think something's wrong. She doesn't even know this about. Dude, Bailey. Bro, you gotta wake up. We gotta go. Come on. All right, whatever. I'm just going myself. Okay, guys. So, it's almost 5 in the morning right now. I woke up to Bailey texting me, asking me to come to her room. So... I'm gonna go make sure she's okay. Um, I run. Bailey? Bailey, I'm coming in. Oh no, she's gone. Chester! Chester! You're still in bed, you dumbass. Right for the camera instead of like <laughs> surviving. Hello? <laughs> Who is that? Where's Obviously, it's the dad. Oh, what the hell is that? Who are you? It's Bailey. I need help. Come here. Bailey, is that you? Obviously, he's doing it because of how intelligent this dude is. Yep. Yo, here's just a streaming. Bailey's just a goner. I would consider it. Download Raid Shadow Legends. Oh god. <laughs> 